Hey guys, this is a video for anybody who is making um, charts and a presentation for their survey project, but you don't have PowerPoint. There are a lot of options if you go on the internet to make charts, so if you don't have PowerPoint, there are many different places you can go. This is a good website because it's really easy to use. The charts that you get are really simple, but I think that they work pretty well. Um, and I want to show you how to use it now. This website is called chartgen.blogspot.com. But if you uh, just search, if you just Google chart generator, you can find a lot of different sites. So maybe you'll find one that you like better. What you do with chart generator is you come here and you can choose the kind of chart you want. I like pie charts. I think they're easy but you can do a line chart, anything you want to, okay? But we'll stay with a pie chart. And then you type in the answers to the questions. So if you had a yes, no question, you would type in yes, comma, no. Then you type in the number of people who said yes and the number of people who said no. So if nine people said yes and 41 people said no, you type it in like that. Then you can choose your colors if you want to do different colors. So maybe I want yes to be red. So I choose the color and then I add the color. And then I can choose another color. And let's say no will be blue. I'll add that color. Okay, and then you press generate chart. Now you have a chart and you can see that yes is red and no is blue. At this point, if you right click on the chart, you can save it and you can call it whatever you want to. I'm just going to keep that title right now. Now the only problem, of course, with this website is that you can't create a title for your charts. So here's what you can do. If you don't have PowerPoint, the easiest thing to do is to go to Google. Everyone should have a Google account because you need one for my class. When you go to your Google account, if you go here to Drive and click on it, you'll see a button that says Create. If you press Create and press Presentation, this is like PowerPoint. Google has a free version of PowerPoint. It's not as good. It doesn't have as many options and possibilities, but it works. It's okay. You can use it for this presentation. So you press Presentation. Okay, and it's, you can see it's very simple. They have different options here, but it's not a lot. There, you can see there are not a lot of options. I'm just going to stick with this one right now. We'll call it my presentation. Ashley Green. And you go over here and you add a new slide. And that's where you could type the title. So maybe my question is, have you ever been to China? Now here, what you do is you go to Insert, and Image is one of the options. You press Image, and then you choose an image to upload. So I'm going to go to my desktop where I saved Chart. I'm going to open it. Now the chart is there. You can see it's kind of small, but it's really easy to make this bigger. So you can just drag it out and make it big and then move it so that it looks a little bit bigger. I'll center it a little bit better. Okay. And then you've got, basically right there, you've got your presentation. You can call it anything you want to, um, and it's very easy to do. This is definitely an easy way to do a free presentation if you don't have PowerPoint. Um, you can see here it'll give you a sample of your presentation. It's not as nice as PowerPoint, but it works. You know, it'll get you what you need for this assignment. I think that's the easiest way to do this assignment. If you have any questions, let me know.